John here from War Jeepney and I am playing against Jay, who you always ask advice from, which I think <laughs> is a very bad idea because I'll show you how to school Jay in this game over here. We are playing the three idols, so corner deployment, we already have deployed. I am playing STS and I have uh, Malosi, Zo, uh, Jest, Tautolu. I can't field him with this little guy because I will exceed my points. I'll have the two brothers, uh, Hiroto and the eldest brother, and I have Misao over there. They will betray you though. Uh, yes, these are his models, so... Uh, well, Jay needs some wins sometimes. <laughs> and Jay, what do you have here? I have a courtier um, list right now. So Nightmares of Jigoku with, uh, what's his name? Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. And then we have, we have Waku, we have Moises, Mokoti. So that's like my, my basic lineup. And then we have an additional Shugenja in Ikirio. And then Yamauba, who I'm trying out right now. On my upgrades list, uh, list are, well, the Nightmares of Jigoku. I have Feed on Fear, hoping that some of your models will fail your fear check. Drain Spirit, uh, a must-have for one key. Random Act of Kindness, and Jimio's Jim Mask on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Right. Okay, so uh, cult players, pay attention. This is what you should not do. <laughs> okay, so you roll for the initiative. Uh, no ductation. So, uh, so one, one is to one. I make a one. So who goes go first, Jay? I will go and play first. So I start by moving Tautolu out of the forest. And he runs forward with, who, what's the name of that guy? Yu-Gi-Oh! With Yu-Gi-Oh! That cartoon guy and drops a uh, desecrated shrine. shrine. Middle of turn one and the heroes have moved out of the forest. Moving forward bravely as the cowardly cult of Yure stuck to the road. Uh, and right now, uh, Ikirio. Ikirio is looking going to looking into the void against Misao. Okay, so Misao has two key and willpower one. So I, oh my gosh. So uh, <laughs> dice for damage. Okay. Uh, eight, so pick four. Misao takes 4 damage. Moises moves forward and attempts an obey on Tautolu. Tautolu is 2. And he makes an obey ah. for just the 3. And ah. oh my ah. gosh! Look okay. at all those 1s. I should discipline my dice. Jay finally going to have a win against me. <laughs> Because I rolled all the right, ones. Right. So this guy is controlled right now. He activates my controlled Tautolu and engages Malosi on melee. Malosi is exhausted, so I'm running on two dice. Two dice and he ran, so one die. Ran, so one dice. Yes. I'm on, what's his base stat? Base stat three. So he's two. He yes. So just defense. Attack. I roll a two. Uh, five. So three, so in, three in. Strong. Is he strong? He's strong, probably strong. Uh, let's check that. Tautolu is... No, none. Not on strong. Not strong. But uh, weapon plus two. Oh, uh, will he do anything? Ah, okay. Uh, weapon plus two. Ouch. So that's 11 plus two. That's 11. So that's a plus two. Four, six. six Minus eight, one. Five. Five damage to Malosi. We forgot about the brutal one, so deals one more additional damage to Malosi. So Yamauba moves through the road and engages uh, Tautolu, who is now at my side. I have to make a fear check of six, uh, two dice, and I make it with an eight. And then I will, uh, your, your key feats first. You're surprised you can, because you're surprised. I will copy brutal one. So she now has brutal one. Copies my brutal one ability. You're at one die against my three. Okay, so I have one dice for the melee exchange. Defense. Critical strike. So, so five. I have a defense of six. He rolls a five, so that's a miss. So Waku moves behind the boxes and casts Death Sentence on Tautolu. 
makes an eight. I don't think I can uh, save myself against that. So Tautolu has a death sentence mark. So board state of turn one, uh, avoiding the forest. I have to skirt out through the sides. I have Misao here by the idol, but it has not yet turned. I have the two brothers over there. He has most of his guys at the middle and he has turned both idols towards his direction. I have my guys here on the road. But Tautolu has a death sentence. Malosi has six damage on him. And we start now with turn two. We roll for initiative. And I make a five. I'm a five. Yes, a five. So roll again. Make a re-roll. I'm a six. I'm a one. One and I will go first. For Zo, I call heads. That's heads. And heads, so he now has three key. So he placed uh, another cheat card, the Drain Spirit, and it takes two key from Zo. It so it goes to Yamauba. So Jay plays random act of unkindness, and I choose Spirit Block, and he puts it on Hiroto. So for my first action, uh, the eldest brother will charge Yu-Gi-Oh. Fear 6 is to Fear 6, so no need for roll. So I'll just move into base contact and I will contact the idol as well. And we'll have a melee exchange. So no key spent. He's all on defense. I'm all on attack. He defends with a 6. And I'm... 5. Oh wait. Uh, brutal 1. 6. So hitting on 0. Uh, strong weapon plus charge so puts me at plus four wow. so well, that is three damage total dead. three damage only three damage only yeah he's, we've been eating him he's sacrificed ah, okay so he's been killed because his fellow friends have been biting his fingers look into the void and Ikirio, look into the bo <laughs> look into the void against malosi Malosi has two dice to defend himself. Seven. He rolls a seven. I am a six. So, so, uh, so damage seven. four. Uh, nine. Plus one. Five. Damage five to Malosi and uh, his stuff takes four. He's, He's down to four. Malosi is killed. I get an activation token on uh, Waku. And Waku gets an activation token because that is his built-in ability. So I activate Misao and we'll do a Curse Fate feat. Uh, curse Fate is range 12. Yeah, so uh, well within range. I have two dice plus one because I have willpower. I make an eight. I just make a uh, five. Five, so I have three. Uh, three a success level. So re-roll <laughs> the ones. So I have two and Why three. Re-roll re ones. So six, two, and three are considered ones. For any melee or any, range, uh, or even So let's take a look at that. Curse Fate. Target model considers any dice it rolls okay. as a one. So Ikirio over here is shooting Zo. Then I'm okay. Shooting it with a uh, look into the void uh, feet. So three against one. Unless I roll a very nice dice. No. So this is a 4 plus. So it's dead. 5 damage to Zo. And Zo is. Barely dead. within 6, so another one. And another activation over to the Soul Collector. Misao just turns the idol because you should always play for objectives. And it's now back to Jay. Yamaaba attacks uh, Tautolu. Tautolu has. Uh, Three dice, four. and he has four. We are both uh, brutal, so let me allot my dice. So we both spend key to increase our dice by one. So Jay is running out five dice, and what do you do? Five dice, all attack, one defense. I do the same with four dice, all attack, one defense. He is striking first. <laughs> eight. Uh, he makes nine. an eight. Nine. He makes a nine because of brutal. My defense dice is only at two. You roll that. With and he has a dodge, so he will ask me to reroll the five. I hope it becomes a six. Oh! Becomes a six, so good for me. That's, but uh, he will deal first uh, his damage to me. So that's a uh, seven versus a four. And now I have a nine versus a two, so seven in. Seven in. 
I have tough. Uh, seven is so take six. So Tau Tolu takes six damage over there. One, two, three, four, five, one more six. And I will be dealing four, four to you. Plus two D six. Five in. His weapon is plus two. Oh, six in. Oh, wait. I so have... six in. Oh, I have plus one. Plus one, four. So I had I had uh, a nine. I had I rolled an eight. For, right. for attack. So, so one, one more damage. So seven, and then you are dealing well, six. Three plus three plus three. Three. Dealing so six to. I die. Yamaaba and Yamaaba is killed. Okay. But what happens? Cult might have its shenanigans I mean, uh, again, and it dies, but it gives sorry. Waku. You get plus one, pa. Sorry, plus one. Damage. Plus one damage because of uh, that sentence. Death sentence. Okay. But I'm still alive, yeah, down to three, but I kill Yamaaba. So I'll just move uh, Hirote into position, I'll just walk him that direction. So Mukoti trying to obey the eldest brother. Six. Rolls a six, I have resistance one, I make a seven. Not obeyed. I just walk the uh, Hiroto. I walk Hiroto to base contact the uh, idol. So Mo Isis runs into the difficult terrain pond and my last activation goes to Totolu. And I'll simply walk Totolu towards this corner over here. And Totolu is now there. Oh still have Wak over there with a couple of activations. And that is the board state. Waku moves into base contact for melee. I need to pass fear test of six, which I do. You're in and we will have a melee exchange. You're at minus one for me. I'm at two dice. Uh, I only have one key left, nothing to spend. I go push defense. He goes on three on attack. So that is a five, six, seven. seven. Versus my defense of seven, seven also. I rolled so more dice, so no push. Rolled more dice. No push, zero, zero in. Plus one because I Plus have. Plus one for a death sentence. That's <laughs> 11. That deals two damage. Two damage. Tough. Minus one. So one, so. Uh, Tautolu is now down to two. And all your actions. I will move here. So, um, what's the name of that guy again? Mo Mukoti. Mukoti moves, Mukoti moves into base contact with Tautolu. Mukoti is fear three. Three. Tautolu is fear four, so I don't have to. Oh. You have to roll for the fear, so cancel that. Okay, so uh, Baku makes an attack again. I'm still running on two dice. Nothing left for me to do really, but to hold the line. So push defense. It's eight. Uh oh, I only have a two. So six in. Six in. Plus, plus one. one. So seven, six eight. in. Six in. Yeah. So it's he is down to two. So and dear Totolu is killed. Gains an activation token. And he sucks his life and gains an activation token. Still your activations. So I will. Uh, move, so that's six here. Oh, no, I move here. Six here. Okay, and then I will move here, run six here. So I have two activations left. And I will uh, engage. Of course. Engage the dear old lady who has zero dice. Zero right dice. Now. Fear check, please. Fear check. Failed. Failed, frightened. So I have zero, negative exhausted, one. negative one. So I have four dice. And of course, I go defense. And then eight. Three in. in. 
Uh, well, that's uh, four in. Four in. Uh, she she's is down to one, down to one life. Ah, so, uh, no, she's she down, down to one. one. She was down to one. So she's killed now, and he gets a activation, activation token again. I will use both activations to turn it my way. Turn uses both activations to turn it his direction. So I have all okay. three. Um, I still have one more activation here from Poti. He will. Yeah, just wait. And that is the end of the turn. I score one victory point. He scores which one, one victory point. Which one to remove? Let's get rid of this one. So this objective is gone. Okay, it's gone. Okay, so we start now with turn three. I guess we roll for initiative to see how I turn the tide. You're at zero though. You don't generate key, and you lose the key during the start at, at the end of. Yes. Appointments. Yes. Okay. So roll for initiative for turn three. Hi, I make a six. I'm going to turn the tide. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how you break the cult mm -hmm. of Yure, I think. And the most decisive move of the game. Activate. Influence. And influence one way. <laughs> Makes him tired. Influence. Right. Okay. okay. Do you get surprised if I obey you from behind? <laughs> uh, no, no. I Fortunately, will. not. I will. Uh, move here and look into the void. Look into the void against this guy. Against the eldest brother. So I have two dice plus one. Here's my key defense. I make a six. Six total. Suspense. So that's a seven. Seven. So I roll a four. Uh, just uh, minus one, so a uh, three. Three damage to the eldest brother. With a tough. Only ignores arm. Yeah. So eldest bro brother took two damage from that look into the void. And I'm still trapped there in the middle. I cannot charge this guy. He is camouflaged. I cannot charge uh, Moises over there because I don't have line of sight. And I can't walk into engage. So uh, I'll just, I guess I'll just have to... Influence again. <laughs> and, and exhaust. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good. Or influence with this guy. But he's I, not in base. He is. Declared, oh yeah, yeah. I declared, declared he, was he is in base contact. Yes, I did declare that a while ago. So yes, I will tire, and the brothers are exerting effort, and it's now turned towards me, and they are both tired. Okay. So Mukoti is obeying the eldest brother. Two dice versus two. You have willpower. I think. Ah, uh, you have resistance, but I rolled I made a, a seven, seven and He's I rolled active. more than ones. Yes. So you are, yeah, this one is one. Is this a one? So he is under the control of the cult. And what I will do is I will knock him silly <laughs> with an attack. So I will engage him and try to wake him up. I told they both you they exhaust. will betray you. I told you. They both exhaust. So I spend three. I go all on defense. I just want to knock him silly. He's all attack, of course. He's an eight, nine. You're I'm an eight. An eight. So one in. So he deals one damage to me. Strong. Strong. Plus two. Yep. So that's an eight plus two, ten. So that's uh, two, two damage. Two damage. I believe I am tough. So one damage. But you're both. I am both exhausted. exhausted. Obey. Moises will obey. Which one? Hirota? Uh, no. Or the eldest? The eldest. Eldest. And eldest has to defend himself again. I have a seven. Five. Five, and he resists. Okay. And he will obey again. Obey again. Here we go. Seven. I make a Six, seven. seven also. Uh, I'm an active player. Active an player open. and he is obeyed again. Mm -hmm. Obeyed and exhausted. Still has activations. I will move here. Mark. And I will be ganged up, exhausted. Surprised. Ganged up, exhausted, surprised. So zero dice. So zero dice. You're at plus one. Three. Ganged up, 
Yeah, plus one. So I'm at four. Yep. Uh, see, spending. No, I'm not. Not spending. <laughs> four dice. Yeah, so I got a hold out. I'm just going to defend. All an attack. Eight. Six. Two, two in. in. So uh, three in. Three in. Tough. So two in. So Hirata takes another two. <laughs> He survives, and Waku is also tapped out as of now. Yep. But he still has activations from Ikirio and Mokoti. Uh, Ikirio will just... I don't know if I can reach six. Yep. I'll just go here. Okay. Uh, here. And then this guy will just... Move here. Okay. And that's the end of the third turn. So it's now turn four, and Cult automatically wins initiative. Mm -hmm. And your action, Jay? I will. Uh... Just in case uh, you have forgotten, I only currently have One. Hiroto, as the eldest brother is under his control. Yeah, I will. I will. Look into the void on him. Look into the void against Drunken Hiroto, Master. Drunken Master. I have three dice. I have, no, you have two. Two because I minus one spirit. Yeah, he has placed minus one spirit so on my guy. I'm uh, six. So three dice, para minus no, one. No, no, no. no, minus one die. Minus one die. So it's not so three dice, minus, minus one. one. key uh, in opposed key tests. For minus one. one key. Wow. So that's two dice, and I have a five. I have a six. Six, so I get four damage. Four damage, rolling. Uh, six, that's zero, so four damage. Four damage, uh, tough. tough. Apply, so, so take three. I will take three damage, and I one. am down to one. Okay. And for my action, uh, Waku is how many life? He's eight. Eight life, and I will uh, show six you. Life. Okay, so I will declare attack okay. on Waku. And I will spend all my key. Okay. All my key. Okay, so that brings me up to five dice. Mm -hmm. And I will declare powerful attack. And all an attack. attack is also all an attack. Eight. So he will kill me. Unless I kill him first, I will prowess this one. So six, seven, eight. I Your rolled damage? an eight. Cancel the damage, sacrifices. And he cancels the damage. Can you please uh, so <laughs> explain a, how that happens? I have an obey on him, so he's a friendly right now. Yes. He has protected friendly. Protected so whatever friendly. damage I take, I can cancel by sacrificing a friendly model. So he sacrifices the older brother, and he, of course, with that, kills my remaining model. Uh, again, finally, Jay uh, has a win <laughs> with his cult. Zero uh, losses. <laughs> so with that's that's how uh, not to play cult. <laughs> because uh, at least me, I am a sport. I understand combat. But you might lose your friends <laughs> if you play this way. <laughs> but uh, nice game. Nice, nice game. Uh, good challenge there. And uh, it's interesting to see the tricks of cult. I mean, that's what they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be a very uh, tricky faction and uh, you have to be ready for those unexpected moves like that uh, protected, yeah, control and then protected. So I would have killed him, but he took it back and all on attack. So you will see a lot of uh, those abilities from cult. So I suggest everyone you buy cult <laughs> and you study them so that we can break their defenses. Again, this is John and this is Jay, Manungard, uh, Manungard from War Jeepney and we hope you have enjoyed this battle report.